Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome to day 18. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy and today we are looking at checkboxes. How to select a checkbox using Selenium WebDriver with Java. Okay, so today is day 18 and that's what we're doing. Teaching ourselves a test automation tool, right? So if you find this useful, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to and be notified anytime I release videos. Okay, so let's dive in and use the website we're going to use. We we'll copy that from my blog here. So we bring up our Chrome. I think I already have this open, but there we go. So checkboxes. How do we go about doing checkboxes? Right. So we have a uh, toppings here. And we have various toppings. So shout out to the guys of this website. It's dynamic web coding. So I'm using this website for practice. So hopefully that's okay. Now we've got mushrooms, onions, black olives, uh, yeah, black olives, sausage, and pepperoni. Right. So this is how the website opens. Right. I think it, def it is not default. So hopefully we could inspect mushroom. Right. And see if we could right um code so to actually select the um the checkbox okay so the code we got the attribute uh, tag name as input we've got type attribute we've got name attribute and we've got value so i think we can use name attribute to actually uh, select this uh, element right to select this checkbox for mushrooms Okay, so we will head over to our same Eclipse. I'll just call, I'll just copy this because we're going to be using. Actually, let's not do that. Let's head over to our Eclipse. Sorry, sorry about that. Head over to Eclipse, and we want to write our test case. We want to call it. So right click and class. We want to call it checkbox. Checkbox, and then we want to click on public static void main. You know all this by now. I want to go into another one of our test cases. I want to take our most our three common lines for all our test cases, right? And you should know this by now as well, which is your. Um, this is the last time I'll probably say this. <laughs> it's for one for your uh, set your properties, your uh, Chrome driver properties. The other is for. The other one is for making drivers an object, and the third one is basically just getting the URL you're going to work with. So we just go driver dot get, and then open and close double quotations, and then in here we want to drop. Sorry about that again. We want to drop the URL of the website we're going to be working with. Okay, copy and drop it in there. Right, so that's us with code now that's launched our website. And what we want to do is actually select the checkbox, which is mushrooms, right? So all we do is driver dot get simple and straightforward, right? Get a no, not get find, sorry, find element. Remember, we're going by by dot name right name right open and close quotations and in here we want to put mushrooms right and dot click and it's as simple as that right and if we run this you should be able to click on or check or select the checkbox for motions, right? So it's that simple and that straightforward. So hopefully it's done. Here we go. And it's ticked, right? So it's as straightforward as that, right? But there's another thing, right? Another thing. So that's us check, uh, check the checkbox, right? So how do we know before that? How do we know the checkbox is unselected? And after that, 
we can also find if it out if it has been selected or not right so to find that out we take the exact location that we've just written out copy just copy that and put that before we actually check the checkbox so at that point it will be false right to return a false and then check and tick the checkbox and then after that it will return them true okay so we drop this in here and all we want to do is dot is selected right so now this should return a false and then our line of code here will check the checkbox or select the checkbox and then this line will return a true so it's a false and true so a false a check and a true right so in order to see this we have to put it in a java a line of code which is your print right so you have to print it to the console so how you do that is system system dot out dot print print line right i'm going to take this off i'm going to put one behind here and that's us right so that should print out into our console so we're going to put exactly the same below here right and let's try and run that and we check our console to make sure we found out that this checkbox wasn't wasn't ticked by returning a false and then check the checkbox and then return a true after the checkbox has been ticked okay so that's how this that's how you do this just in case it does that's a requirement okay so we'll tick the checkbox and i think the script has stopped running so if we come out of this and check our console you see there's a false and there's a true yeah so that's great but there's another requirement right uh, you're told to find out how many checkboxes they are on this page right so you can actually just count the r5 right but someone says i want you to do some code find out how many checkboxes are on this page right so what you do is you would inspect the checkboxes you can do this individually and then you look which attribute is common between all five right so here we've got type type name is checkbox name is mushroom value is 0.5, 0 0.40 right so let's inspect mushroom mushroom is also type is checkbox so there's a pattern going on here right so type checkbox right so what we could do is we could write an x path right an x path for that so we'll find and validate our x path while we write it input type checkbox okay input Square brackets, utter it, type uh, equals to open single quotations, close single quotations, and close your um, yeah, square brackets, and then check box. And that should say 105. You see 105? So if we copy this and we head out back to our eclipse and all we want to write is driver dot find find element and we're going again by xpath right by dot xpath and we want to do open close single quotations and in here we want to drop our xpath right and what we want to do here now is dot So it will not show size here because you have to put an S here, you see, an S, because you're not just finding an element, you're finding elements, right? So if we have elements there and we put a dot, we will see size, right? And this size should return, should return 
how many, the count, size returns the count of all the checkboxes that have been identified by your XPath, okay? And also to see this, we have to put it in the print, in the console, print it out in the console, right? So we go C system, system dot out dot print line, right? Print line, save that in. And there should be one there, and that should be it, right? And so we run this, and let's check it out, right? So we should get false, true, false, check the checkbox, and then true, and then five as the count of the number of checkboxes on that web page, okay? Again, if you found this useful, subscribe. So check mushrooms here. Once the page stops loading, check, 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 check. Let's check, right? So I think that's the page stop loading. And if we come out here, we should see five in the console. And we see five, okay? Again, if you found this useful, if you found this uh, uh, informative, educative, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get you to learn along with us, right? So, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and I'll be that will notify you when I send out videos on all the topics I'm making. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, where we'll be talking about I think it's radio buttons, which is kind of the same similar thing. Okay, so thank you very much, and um, later. Okay, thank you.